Hello friend, it is Crystal Lopez from crystalandcomp.com. I hope you are having a wonderful day. I'm gonna show you really quickly what I made for dinner one night recently. It is super delicious. We are actually making barbecue chicken baked potatoes. So come along with me, I'm gonna show you how we did that. We took some of the Kirkland brand frozen chicken breast that I buy from Costco. We do lots of Costco grocery hauls here. I um, will leave a link to the playlist below so that you can watch it. We're going to take some of those frozen chicken breasts and put them in the slow cooker and pour some barbecue sauce, just whatever your favorite is. That's one that I get at Costco. You guys have left comments before saying, do you really eat all the stuff that you buy at Costco? I want you to remember we are a large family with five kids still at home. We have nine kids total, but five are still at home, plus myself and my husband. So yes, we are cooking, we are making food, three times a day for all the people that are at home because we're all home all day long. Um, well, not exactly all day long, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so now I'm going to take the baked potatoes. These are, or the potatoes. These are the potatoes that I buy at Costco in a 15 pound bag. I like to use some of them each month to make baked potatoes. So just rinse them off and then we're gonna poke holes in them after we've rinsed them off and then we're gonna put them in the crock. No water, just put them in the slow cooker and put them on high for six hours and they will be done. And if you're not ready to eat in six hours, if you have a digital programmable slow cooker, when it reaches the six hours, it'll move to warm and keep it warm until you're ready. The chicken, we put it on low since it was frozen. We did low for eight hours, okay? I'll show you what to do when those are all done. So you can see that the lighting has changed. It's now nighttime, I've had a long work day. And we are now chopping up onions to go on top of our baked potatoes for those who want that. Look, you can see that blue bag there is what the baked potatoes come in, or the russet potatoes, sorry, I keep saying that. All right, now the, chicken, the chicken's been done. We're ready to put everything together and start assembling plates. So we're taking the chicken out of the crock pot and we are going to shred it up. And then once we're done shredding it, we're gonna add it back to the barbecue sauce and just kind of mix it all up so that um, it'll be a nice juicy shredded barbecue chicken that's gonna go on top of the baked potatoes. All right, so while I'm cooking dinner, you're gonna see some of our, we have three dogs and they just kinda hang out in the kitchen, hoping that I'm gonna drop something or give them something. You'll also notice that I like to clean as I go. So I may not do the dishes while I'm cooking dinner, but I will get them all into the sink. And then that way everything is kind of in a consolidated, condensed place to make after dinner cleanup easier. So now I'm just pulling everything out of the fridge that's gonna go along with these. We've got our butter, sour cream. Usually I buy Greek yogurt, but we had some guests in a while back and I bought the tub of sour cream instead. So we're gonna work through that. And then I also buy two big bags of shredded cheese at Costco each month. So we still have some of that shredded cheese and that's going to go on our baked potatoes as well. So I'm just getting everything set out so that we're good to go. Okay, have you ever seen that cheese before? It is a cheese that you melt and pour over the bread. So there is a local, I'm gonna make salad, but while I'm making salad, I'm gonna tell you this. There's a local French place, uh, French restaurant called Mon Chou Chou that's here in San Antonio. It's actually in the Pearl. So if you are familiar with the area, you may know what I'm talking about. And they have this cheese, it's that cheese. I think it's called Radcliffe cheese maybe. Radcl I don't remember, anyway. They melt it on a wheel and pour it over bread and it is phenomenal. And I happen to be at Sprouts getting some produce for like filler grocery run um, in between our Costco stuff. And I saw some of the cheese and I thought, you know what, I can recreate that because I've told the kids about it and I knew they would love it. Especially Luke Henry, he loves really interesting, neat food things and he will try anything. So. I am making that to go with our dinner and it is that cheese is melting on the stove. This is just a bagged salad that, it's a Caesar salad. I love buying the bagged stuff. I throw it all together 
shake it up and it's good to go and there's your green veggie, right? Makes sides super easy for dinner time. Okay, there's that. And we should be getting ready to pour the cheese over that bread and just about ready to serve plates. All right, are you ready to make plates? We're gonna do that now. We're gonna, you're gonna see kids coming down uh, for dinner. You're gonna see dogs hanging out, loitering in the kitchen, just hoping that I drop something. So one thing that I love about this dinner is not only was I able to use two slow cookers to do the majority of the cooking, which makes cleanup so easy and preparation so easy because you just dump it and go, but this is a customizable dinner. So kids that want their chicken on the side can have chicken on the side. Those who just want cheese on their baked potato can have just cheese on their baked potato. It's customizable without being a short order cook. Okay, so I'm gonna finish making plates. While I do that, don't leave. I want you to stay and listen to the next little bit of the video. So last week I was on a business trip. Aside from my blog that I run, crystalandcomp.com, which is a six figure business, I also have a business that I run with my business partner who lives in Alabama. And she and I for 10 years have been teaching people online how to blog. And we actually have a site called learn to blog hangouts.com. We started it way back in the day when Google plus hangouts was a thing. Now we've grown it into a coaching business and we spent four days in Destin, Florida working because we have a big launch that's coming up actually in just a few days. So I wanted to share some of that with you and show you just what it's like being a work, work from home mom. So I flew out of Austin, which took me to DFW. DFW then took me to Florida. We were going to Destin, Florida. I liked recording some of this because I like coming home and showing my kids some of the footage. So this is flying over Austin. Luke and I go and see concerts often and we've been to multiple at the Moody Center, which is that white building that was the top arrow. That other building, this is just some of down, driving, or driving, flying through Austin. That other um, arena that had like outdoor, that is one of the Longhorn like soccer stadiums or track stadiums. This is once we got to over Dallas, that was the Dallas Cowboys Stadium and Texas Ranger Stadium. And that is Six Flags over Texas. How crazy. This is as we're coming into the airport. This is just minutes from our old home. I'm from the DFW area and I was there until I was 40. I'm now 45. We moved to San Antonio almost five years ago. I, it's home to me. It will forever be home. Although I've also made San Antonio a home, but I just love sharing with people what that looks like there, what life looks like there. Anyway, we've landed. I'm at the airport. I took a picture because my husband's cousin works at American Airlines here at this location. I took a picture and sent it to him and I said, guess where I am? And he was like, Miami? <laughs> no, I'm at your work. He didn't even, I don't know, maybe he didn't recognize it. Anyway, long layover. I was able to work a little bit and eat, and then we were back in the air, and now this is me going from DFW to um, Florida, and Destin was our location. I love takeoff and I love landing. I know that both of those are kind of the more dangerous times in your flight, but they're my favorite times. As long as my ears are cooperating, I love takeoff and landing and I just think it's so beautiful. I love being able to see everything and just see life looks one way when you're down on the ground. Life looks a different way when you can have a bird's eye view. And honestly, that's something that we tell people in their business. When you can have a bird's eye view or an overview of what's going on in your business, you can manage it and have so much more. Um, you can see the potential for growth in your business, right? So this is the sky. Just such a reminder that the world is so big. Seriously, this is gorgeous. And to think we're going at like, I looked it up. I think it says mid flight, you're going about 400 miles an hour. It feels like we're standing still watching this. Isn't it crazy? So super crazy. Anyway, all right, before you know it, I am landing and my business partner is picking me up. And here we are, we are in Destin and she knows how much I love experiences and I love food. And so she took me to Meguiar's, which is an Irish pub, but really it's a restaurant. Wait until you see how amazing this is. She didn't give me much details. And then once we got in there, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is perfect. They have money on the wall. All of that is money on the walls. It's on the ceiling. There's $2.2 million. That's all money. 
in this building. They said that they add $80,000 a year. They don't add it, their customers do. Those are all customers that put money on the wall. The story goes, the person that started this business, his wife was the bartender or the waitress and she took her first dollar bill that she earned, put it on the wall and now it's a tradition. Here's what we ordered, that bread was amazing. This was a sampler appetizer platter. We did not eat all of this food. We ended up taking some of it back to the condo so that we could eat off of it because we didn't wanna be eating out every day. This is their 18 cent soup. It's called Senate, Senate bean soup, I think. Amazing, such an experience. This was just absolutely lovely. I got the corned beef with cabbage and potatoes and carrots, super delicious. She got an open face sandwich that was a chicken sandwich, I think. It was so good more money. Look at all that money. I had so many questions. Our waitress was amazing. I asked so many questions and they answered them all. And then attached to this is a store. Think Cracker Barrel, but Irish pub. And inside this store, obviously you can, if you're a local, you're going to want stuff. But if you are a tourist, you're really going to want stuff. If my mom sees this, that snow globe church building, she's going to adore. I wish I could have got it for her and brought it back, but there's just no way that I could travel back with it safely. Anyway, this was a great place to get trinkets, uh, souvenirs, or t-shirt, whatever, whatever you want. They had so many neat things there. I absolutely loved it. Would love to take my family there. That's a view from outside. All right, this was the next day at our condo. I wanna show you what our condo looked like. It was so beautiful. This is Destin, gorgeous. We're on the top floor just I can't say enough it was beautiful the water was gorgeous unfortunately we worked a lot <laughs> not unfortunately that's what we were there for but we did a lot of working in the mornings I like to go down and get coffee from the coffee shop that was there they had great coffee and then this was the setup it was so pretty now this is a different day and you can see it's kind of gloomy by this point it had gotten cold and the next two days of our trip were really cold but we still enjoyed it. She took me to Lulu's, which is Jimmy Buffett's sister's place. And um, look at, that's beautiful. We were, this was right outside the window. It was cold at this point, very windy. I had a mahi mahi bowl that was fantastic, delicious. I absolutely loved it. There we are the last day about to leave off of our balcony. It was just great. She took me back to the airport. She drove in because she lives in Alabama on the Gulf Coast where we were at was off the Gulf Coast. So I flew, she drove. Um, I said, I haven't even touched the sand. And she pulled over and said, get out and touch the sand. So I did. And then we were back at the airport and I flew from Destin. This is when I'm leaving Destin, flying out and heading to DFW again for my connecting flight. Look at how beautiful that water is. I just love looking at everything from this view. It's so gorgeous. And then before you knew it, we were landing in DFW and then I did not get footage flying from DFW back to Austin, but um, that's Lake Dallas right there, actually. It was a great trip. It was amazing. Lenny was waiting at the airport to pick me up and he had Luke Henry with him. Luke Henry is our eight-year-old and he jumped out of the car and hugged me for two minutes and said, I'm so glad you're home, mom. And then me and Luke Henry and Lenny went and um, had dinner together and then drove on home back to San Antonio. Austin to San Antonio is about an hour. Depending on traffic, it can be a little longer. Anyway, this is us landing in at the DFW airport. My home, my home away from home, that city, that's like Euless. If you guys are familiar with the mid cities area, that is the Euless area right outside of um, there in the camera shot. So, all right, guys, there you go. This is what life is like when you are running a business from home, work at home, mom, homeschool at home, mom, raising lots of kids, mom, just all the things. And I don't travel a lot, but when I do, I try to make great memories. So here we are landing. And like I said, from here, I will hop on another plane and go from Austin to, I'm sorry, from DFW to Austin and get home to my family and kids, all right? I hope that you have enjoyed watching this. I've loved sharing all of this with you. If you are new here, I hope you will like and subscribe. We do lots of Costco grocery hauls, cooking videos, some cleaning videos, and just sharing life with a large family, all right? Thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.